Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Sports Bike Shop's video about the Rucker Remo R Gore-Tex jacket. Rucker's lightweight Gore-Tex jacket, which came out early in 2022, is for what you might call proper adventure riders, people who want weather protection but not impact protection. The idea is that this jacket is to be worn over an armoured shirt. So Rucker have left out any standard armour which brings the cost down. So that means riders who already have an armoured shirt to wear under it don't have to splash out for armour they won't be using. And those people who need an armoured shirt at least have a few quid left over to help them get one. Rucker have an armoured shirt in their range now. It's called the RPS AFT. It's made using loads of mesh material for good airflow and it has protection to the higher CE level 2 for shoulders, elbows and back and to the basic level one for the chest. That jacket costs $274.99 as we record this, and there's a link in the description below to the listing for that shirt. So let's get back to the Remo R itself. The outer is made from a light and flexible fabric that's laminated with a two layer Gore-Tex membrane. There are then 500 denier Cordura reinforcements at the shoulders and at the elbows. The use of that two layer Gore-Tex material makes it more flexible than a three layer Gore-Tex jacket, although breathability is very slightly compromised because the membrane itself has to be slightly thicker when it's only got one layer around it rather than another two. The main benefit of a laminated membrane, if you're not already up on these things, is that it's able to repel water sooner when it's laminated to the outer shell. So on a more traditional jacket, the membrane is loosely attached to the inside and it protects your body from water that's already got past the outer layer. When it's laminated, the idea is that it will try to stop the water soaking past the outer at all. And that keeps the jacket dry, which means it's lighter, warmer, and it also dry out completely much sooner than a traditional jacket. It's also better for ventilation as opening the zipped vents allows air to come straight through without there being a membrane getting in the way. You need to remember though, you've got to zip the vents up if it rains because water will get through there just as easily as air will get through those vents. The Remo R has a comprehensive venting setup with two on the chest. Then there are vents that extend virtually the length of each arm. There's one on either side of the torso and one across the back. That's exactly as you'd expect from a jacket that's very clearly been designed to be worn by riders who want to hit the trails. The jacket fastens up the front with a sealed zip and there are also two storm flaps. The first one is on the inside to get, deal with any rain that does get past the teeth of the zip. And then there's one over the top that secures over it with Velcro. The neck fastens with a simple Velcro panel and it's a neoprene collar. It's quite high, which I find with most rucker jackets and that makes it very effective at keeping out rain. The cuffs do up with a zip and Velcro and they have a Gore-Tex inner cuff, which gives you the best rain protection. The idea is that you put your bike glove over the thin inner cuff here and then secure this outer cuff over the top of your glove. So that means any rain running down your sleeve can't get into the top of your bike glove and any rain that soaks up into the glove can't reach your clothes underneath the jacket because it hits that instead. Some people call this a fiddly setup and possibly it is, but in my experience, it's also the best way to stop rain from getting through a jacket's cuff. And when it's raining very hard, you'll be particularly glad it's there to keep your hands and your arms dry. There's fit adjustment on this jacket for the arms and body with waist belts, adjusters at the lower hem and then poppers above and below each elbow. The last bit on the outside are pockets. There are two at the waist, the prerequisite pocket at the lower back you find on all adventure type jackets, and then there's a transparent card pocket on the left sleeve. None of those pockets are water resistant, with Rucker being very clear about that with the text on the zip pullers. If we move to the inside of this jacket, you'll notice there are pockets for armour. You don't get armour, but you do get pockets. The pockets are at the shoulders, the elbows, the back and the chest. So you can add armour to this jacket if you want, rather than wearing an armoured shirt underneath. If you want just shoulder and elbow armour, it costs an additional £98. For shoulders, elbows and back, you pay £178 on top. And if you want a full set, that's shoulders, elbows, back and chest, then it's an outlay of 220 quid on top of the £600 cost for the jacket. If you fit the chest armour inserts, then you're filling up the only two internal pockets. So you'll be left without anywhere on the inside to stash your stuff. That's particularly worth remembering as we know that none of the outer pockets are waterproof or even water resistant. So you need to bear that in mind. The CE rating for this jacket is one that we don't see very often at all. In fact, this is the first B rated jacket I've reviewed at all. A jacket that has a B rating means it's supplied without impact armour. And jackets submitted for a B rating are tested for abrasion, tear and burst resistance just at the same level as a jacket submitted for the basic single A standard. To complete our run through of the interior of the Remo R, there's a connection zip that will join up to Rucker trousers. The matching Remo R trousers have a similar construction. They're also supplied without armour and they also meet the same B level within the CE safety standard. 
They cost £489.99 as we record this. If you're looking for something purely for road riding, then I think the main alternative for this jacket, if you're looking to stick with Rucker, is the Calyx 2. That jacket has the same two-layer Gore-Tex membrane, and it has the same basic price as this jacket, £599.99. But that one comes with shoulder and elbow armour included, which saves the 98 quid cost on armouring the elbows and shoulders in this Remo R jacket. But the Calyx 2 isn't as light or flexible as this one, so if you're looking for more airflow and freedom of movement, then it might be worth that extra 98 quid of extra investment. I hope that tells you everything you wanted to know about the Rucker Remo R Gore-Tex jacket, but if there's anything you'd like to ask or to add, then please pop a comment below. Thanks for watching.